When it comes to teen drug use, parents have a significant amount of influence over their teen's behavior. In fact, the American Academy of Pediatrics reports that only 26% of adolescents who said their parents taught them a significant amount about drugs then went on to use marijuana. For teens, parents are a source of information, and the lessons they get from their parents will influence their choices in life. Parents may know drugs are harmful, but they may not know what specific drugs look like. Knowing what drugs look like can be vital for both parents and for teens. Parents with the ability to identify drugs can quickly spot drugs in the hands of their teenagers. Teens who can identify drugs will know when to say no when they're offered substances by friends or peers. Identifying drugs, what they look like Marijuana is an organic drug cultivated from the leaves and stems of the cannabis sativa plant. The leaves have serrated edges and tend to fin out like the fingers of the hand. Marijuana plants are notoriously hard to grow, and they require a significant amount of both light and water. Teens who grow their own plants often enclose them in foil-lined closets and light them for hours each day. Parents might see their electric bill increase due to these additional lights. Teens can buy products that have already been processed from the marijuana plant. Users often buy shredded leaves, stems, seeds or flowers in plastic bags. The material is usually green or brown in color, and it might look like tobacco. Some vendors also sell marijuana in edible format. This marijuana might look like a slice of a brownie or gummy, but it has a strong herbal smell. In the past, cocaine was considered an adult-only drug, as it was too expensive for teen use. However, according to a study published in the journal Addictive Behaviors, 15% of those studied ages 17 to 19 reported that they had been high on cocaine at least once. The number is still low, but it does seem to indicate that some teens are experimenting cocaine. The powdered version of cocaine is relatively easy to spot. It's sold in tiny glass vials with colorful lids or little bags. The cocaine itself is usually ground into a fine powder that might look like confectioner's sugar. Since cocaine is quite expensive, teens might only have very small amounts of the drug at any one time. The crack version of cocaine contains powdered cocaine mixed with water and ammonia or baking soda. This mixture is heated until the water is removed, leaving behind tiny crystals of the drug. These crystals are typically an off-white color and they look a bit like rock candy. The drug is sold in small glass or plastic vials with screw-top lids. The drug LSD or acid is a hallucinogen that's often marketed to teens as a method to expand the mind. Since teens are often eager to try new things and understand more about the world, it's easy to see why LSD might be appealing. LSD is typically produced in a liquid format and sold in tiny bottles that once held breath-freshening drops. Or, manufacturers who want to appeal to teens directly might apply this liquid LSD to absorbent papers printed with colorful pictures of Political figure smiling faces animals bent Nama Sports logo scenes can then place these tiny squares of paper in their mouths and absorb the drug from the melting paper. A dose of LSD is often quite small, so teens might have pieces of paper with hundreds of the same image printed over and over. Each image is usually perforated, so the teen can easily rip one square away for a dose. Teens who want to experience something new but find the idea of a man-made substance a bit frightening might turn to magic mushrooms instead. These tiny mushrooms also contain a hallucinogenic substance, and they typically aren't processed in any way by the manufacturer. According to a study published in the journal Clinical Pediatrics, most teens who use these mushrooms take two to four at a time. Teens who use mushrooms might have a large stash hidden away in their homes. Magic mushrooms are usually sold in a dried format, and the packets may contain multiple caps of mushrooms as well as thin stems. Some teens attempt to pick their own mushrooms and dry them for use, but the mushrooms they pick might not be hallucinogenic mushrooms at all. Instead, these mushrooms might be toxic and lead to serious health problems, including death. Any teen with a packet of dried mushrooms in his per room should be talked to immediately, to ensure that no poisoning occurs. Ecstasy, also known as MDMA, is another hallucinogenic drug that was originally developed as an appetite suppressant. Now it is often used to help teens loosen up, connect with one another and release their inhibitions. According to the National Drug Intelligence Center, the drug is popular with teens because it's inexpensive. A dose of ecstasy can cost less than $20 and it can cause an altered state that lasts for hours. While ecstasy can be sold in liquid form, most teens buy the drug in pill format. These pills are small and pale, and they're often imprinted with images such as 
cartoon characters commercial brands clover leaves peace symbols heart swords such as love or peace while heroin might not be the first drug teens choose to take it might be the drug most likely to strike fear in the hearts of parents the drug is powerful and it's injected directly into the veins of users Teens who abuse heroin may have started their drug use career with mild drugs such as prescription painkillers or marijuana, and as their addictions progressed, they may have escalated to heroin for a powerful rush they simply weren't able to get in any other way. Heroin is processed from the seed pot of a poppy plant. Very pure forms of heroin that contain no fillers at all are pure white, and they look quite a bit like confectioner's sugar or cocaine. It's rare to find this pure form of the drug on the street, however, as it's prohibitively expensive. Instead, it's more common for heroin to be sold as a yellow, brown or black powder. This powder is often sold in folded pieces of paper or tiny envelopes.